Hello, it's Sarah. And I am working on these little door hangers. I posted a picture of this one on my Facebook page. And I just feel like I want to make a couple more. Um, I'm going to go through my prep um, because I've been watching Brenda. She is Pyrography Made Easy, I'm pretty sure. And um, she suggested... So these are just, I think they're birch plywood. That's my guess. Um, I like the way this burns. But all these are not created equally, I'm finding, because these two are by Nicole, the ones I painted. Um, and they're a bit, see how bright they are too? They're like a brighter color. And anyway, they didn't seem to be pulling apart as much. These were a mess. Like when I sanded them, you can kind of see that the plywood is pulling apart. I got splinters. And um, these I got at um, Hobby Lobby. These are wood pile. Anywho, for a dollar, what do you what do you expect? I couldn't get the little hangy things off. This plastic, like it's like a plastic loop they put to like stock them to hang them. And I'm just I just sanded off the tag because I couldn't get that to come off either. Um, but what I didn't do to these that I did to these was. I spritzed them so I just took my water bottle and spritzed them last night and left them here on my desk uh, first though I sanded them real good so I sanded off the major um, you know all that splintery stuff that comes on here got them good enough and then I spritzed them then you leave it to dry overnight and now I'm ready to, I'm going to get a, give it a, another fine sanding, and then I can burn on them. That was how Brenda said that she preps her wood before she burns it. Because you do need to seal it in some, I don't know, I think what the water does is make the wood expand again, and it brings out the, the nap of the wood again. And so just by doing that, then you can sand it, and I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but that's what she suggested, so that's what I did with these. Um, also, I just wanted to share that um, when I design, like, I'm pretty excited because I come from the decorative painting world, and it's I'm so used to using a pattern that I've been creating my own patterns, and I'm just proud of myself, you know? Like, I'm really trying to... Um, do my own work and so for instance these two started out I just trace the shape and then I start sketching and just start playing around with what I want to do and you can see how it changed and evolved like this is the one that I like the best um, at first I was inspired by this bookmark right so something inspires me initially um, I think oh I want to try that you know and and wood burn it and um, paint it. So this is a recovery slogans bookmark from, I believe, Naranon. I've been going to Naranon, and I'm so glad, and I'm loving it so much. Um, and I wanted to, and I was just in that frame of mind. I've been reading the book so much, and so when I sat down, naturally all these things were in my mind. So I just started playing but I had the lines from this in mind. Like I thought, oh, I'll make little sections. But then, as I started doing it, I thought, yeah, it doesn't really need the sections. I don't know. So I just removed the lines. And I ended up keeping just two. One at the top and one at the bottom. And at first I had Serenity going sideways. And then I moved it to the bottom. So it evolves, right? And then even... Still, after I traced it, I ended up moving the believe over a little bit more. So I think even when I do it today, because then after you create the pattern, you trace it out onto a piece of um, tracing paper so that way I can transfer it onto my substrate. So see, you can tell, I don't know if you can from that angle, but yeah, like I'm pretty much on top of the heart but the believe is not in the same place as it is on here because I decided to move the tracing over 
and put believe, which I think I did it over here. Oh, you can't see that now. Like on this side, I just wrote it out and I moved it. And I think I still want to move it over a little bit further. Um, I had room, too, once I moved Serenity down, that I could put the stars in here to fill it in. So this is kind of the finished, but then even still, when, after I burned this one, I decided that S is taking up too much room, and I got a little too fancy with it. It doesn't really match the other letters. So on this one, I decided to, like, move my letters over, like make this one a little thinner. And I still think I can make, I think I even changed it on here and I made the N a little bit more narrow. So I kind of made the letters even more, um, what would it be called? Like the, the same size. So uh, also like, ooh, when I first designed it, I used Grow and Hope and I just sketched them in. But then I realized, like, well, I want them to be even, so I made sure that the letters started at the same place and ended at the same place. And then I changed it to love, because love and hope are really the main ingredients of recovery. And then you have to believe, and at the end of the rainbow, it's serenity. <laughs> anyway, I just really think it's adorable. And um, so I'm going to do that again. Uh, and I figured I could paint along with you, or I mean, you can, you can paint along with me if you want to. But um, I also wanted to talk about um, Brenda from Pyrography Made Easy. She also uses the same burning tool as I have, which is the Colewood Super Pro 2. Um, there's a shutdown, if you guys didn't know, and my husband didn't get paid Tuesday, so... We're not getting paid at the moment, so I am not spending money um, on anything crafty at the moment. Um, but I do think I'm going to invest in, uh, I think, two more tips. I have a few. These are removable tips, um, which is awesome. And because I'm actually using this for my straight lines but I'm gonna get a writer. Brenda suggested she has a whole video on the tips and the ones that she likes and I'm gonna take her advice and I'm gonna try a couple other ones um, that'll help me just because I do mainly outlining. I'm not really into shading at the moment because I wanted to um, with my, although, and I like to burn really hot which isn't recommended either because I mean if you look at, I don't know if you can really tell but I get a halo effect like when I when I burn I'm painting over hi Kiwi I paint over a lot of it but like that little brown that comes next to my burn I like the way it looks because I don't know like I'm not trying to shade and highlight with my burning tool I'm not drawing with fire at the moment I'm getting that effect with the paint um, so I have a little bit of a different take on it right now. I am feeling like I'm going to get uh, eventually download one of her tutorials. There's a little star that I think I want to play with. Um, and like I said, I, I want to get a couple more tips so that I can um, go right along with her. Um, anywho, uh, that being said, these little things can be made just by um, painting. You don't have to burn this. You can just paint uh, you can use your paint pens even and just paint an outline and then float and shade the way I am um, to get this effect. I'm just doing the wood burning because I don't know I, I just I do want to branch out and get better at it and I do feel like every time I do it I'm getting a little bit better uh, feel for it. I like the way it looks. I'm just really attracted to the way it looks. I haven't sealed these and I have to sign them um, but I'm really loving it. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to talk about was I noticed when I painted these yesterday um, or whatever day it was, I have um, been using my angle brushes because those are my go-tos for floating. Let me just set this aside and I'm going to use, I'll just use my palette paper. Um, so floating is a technique that I used in decorative painting excuse me, 
and it's basically being able to shade and highlight by creating um, the darkest color and then it fades out to water and that way it gives you that faded shading and highlighting effect and I like to use an angle brush and I got this one from the brush guys uh, Tracy Moreau had recommended it's a faux squirrel it's a half inch angle and it's pretty thick and it's it's not too long but I really like my brush to hold a decent amount of water because you need the water to float so I like this one but it's a little thick I don't know why okay then this is one that I got from Artist Club and that's where I've gotten a lot of my free patterns from um, in the past uh, ornaments and things like that but it's really beaten up some of my uh, bristles are popping out I'm sure I could um, cut them off and stuff it still holds an edge but it was splitting on me when I loaded it yesterday so I thought well let me go look and see what they have and I got these at Michaels um, I have my receipt let's see they were the Zen one which I think is this one this one says Zen this is an eight dollar brush no, I'm wrong. This is $4.99. So this is the cheaper of the two, the Royal Lang Nickel Zen. This was $8.99, but I used a coupon, so I got it for $5.39. And this is Artist Loft. Are you kidding me? Artist Loft brush, $8.99. And that, I think, is um, Michael's brand, Artist Loft. Um, it's a 3 8 inch angle, and so is this. This is by Royal Langnickel and it was much cheaper, almost half the price. But I want to show you the difference. Look at this. So, they're both 3 8 inch brushes. They're about the same width, but this one's taller. I don't know if you can tell. This one has a longer bristle, and this one's stubbier. Um, might as well throw this one in the mix. This one's kind of in between. I think this one goes in the middle as far as size goes. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? So you get the same, a 3 8 inch angle in three different brands, and it's like ridiculous how different they are. Okay, the other thing is this side, this side. This one is the thickest. This one has the ferrule. The bristles come out this way. The, there's more in there. It's thicker. This one is the most narrow, I think. These two are kind of both in the same ballpark when it comes to that. But my experience, and I'm, I'm guessing this one's going to be really nice. I like it to be longer for some reason because I'm a heavy hand and I can bend the bristles. This one isn't going to bend as much because it's stubbier and stiffer. So it's going to be just like this. I'm only going to be able to, I'm not really explaining it right, but let me get some paint out. Let's use, um, I want to open this. This is Royal Fuchsia. I just bought this. I love this color, and I was running out, so I just bought it. So let's try that. And I just want to show you what I'm talking about. Now, I got this size specifically because <coughs> on these little pieces, I don't want my float to be now depending on the size of the brush because if I use a super big brush like this one this is a one inch no this is a, a three quarter this isn't even a one inch I do have a one inch I'm pretty sure um, I can get color to go from the tip all the way to there so that's if my thing isn't that big like I'm doing this little heart I'm going to get this color to come all, it'll cover the whole heart, and I don't want to cover the whole heart. I want to only go in that little section. So for me especially, I mean, you could do it with this little, with this big brush. I'll show you. So you just corner load a little bit of paint and don't walk it all the way down. So I'm only utilizing that little side of the brush, this little bit of so I could do it with the big brush. I don't know. It's in my head that I need to have 
a smaller brush. So because I tend to overload the brush, that's why. So if I have a big brush like this, I'm going in, I don't know why. <laughs> so this is the Artist Loft. This was the more expensive one. And I think it's going to be great. It's not splitting. I like it. It feels good. Now, it's a little splitty down here. Let me come in a little closer. Can you see how those hairs are kind of... But they're not the most important. I mean, because water is going to be on that. I don't like this being here. I'm going to cut this off. I have a little... Um, I don't know why they put this tag. That didn't work. Sorry. It's my own... Um, annoyance right now. That's making me do this. This is just annoying me. Oops. You know what's funny in recovery, right? <clears throat> it's about me adjusting the way I think about things, which is so awesome because I, when it comes down to it, I can't control anyone but myself. And it's such a, it's so, um, helpful and it lets you off the hook for a lot of stuff if, if you, you know if you can just detach with love and don't get emotional anyway um but it just i have to learn patience i have a lot of issues okay so now i'm gonna see what that oh i love it though the float is so good it's just really like oops sticker on my hand dark to medium to water and I mean it's staying together can you see that like the okay so let's try another one I like that one though so for the price if you have a coupon use your coupon now this is the uh, Royal Langnickel Zen this is a 3 8 inches as well I'm gonna get it wet but like I said this is much more stubby it's stubby, it's thick at the bottom, and it's shorter bristles. So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't feel like I have, that I like it. So I just corner load, and then, oh, but I do like it. It feels fine. It's splitting a little bit. You see that split? I don't like that. Because the water, if it holds the water right, the bristles should stay together. And you never, I'm not jamming down, I'm rough, but I'm, I'm being, I'm only pulling it and pushing it across my palette paper. This is palette paper and it's like got like a little bit of a wax, not waxy, but it's smooth. It's like a smooth finish. It's splitting a little and I think that's because it's short and stubby. That's, I mean, that's why I think, but it's still good because the chisel is amazing. So the chisel is the actual tip, like the knife's edge of it. So that's good. But I feel like I would really ruin this brush um, because, I don't know. All right, and then I'll go back to my this one that's all worn out. I liked it because it's not as stiff. It's not as thick. Um, I don't know why I just like it like that. But this does not, it's way too wet. This does not feel as good as those other ones did. I mean, it's still good though, but see all those hairs getting crazy? And that's just for me, because I'm so rough. When I go into my water bucket, my water bucket has these little ridges on the bottom. Down there, on this side, my dirty water. And I just run the brush across that to clean it. I don't know if that's good or bad necessarily. I've always done it. And I replace my brushes, so it's not like they're going to last forever. This one's holding up pretty good. This is the Faux Squirrel Blot. Um, it's just a different feel because it's not a synthetic. Well, I guess it's a Faux Squirrel, so it is synthetic, but it's made to be like a real, true hair. I love it, though. It definitely does the job. It just seems like... You see those little lines? Like it, it's stripey because these bristles are a little bit thicker and rougher. Um, 
you can you can see that like there's stripes it's like stripes going this way because see because like I don't know this one I think is the smoothest this new one this is the most expensive one this was artist loft Vienna angle shader let me double check artist loft brush $8.99 but I got it for 40% off so it was $5.39 and I shouldn't have yes we're on a shutdown and I bought brushes yesterday so I lied <laughs> oh man um, anywho so this is exciting because now today so after I burn these when I come in here and I want to paint now this is pink so I can't really put it on here but like I want to bump up this red I'm gonna grab this just a little true red because if you look at the two of them together this one's oops I'm gonna move, move sorry my desk is a little cramped see the darkness of this red I'm gonna bump that up a little I'm just gonna put a tints. I like saying a tints, and I said that the other day and someone said that's not a word I said yeah but it's just my descriptive word a tints. all right so here's some beautiful red this is called true red and I just want it to go here and then here and then here beautiful and I could actually put it right here but I don't want to get this end of the brush in this that I just put down but isn't that gorgeous I like it boy that's bright now though it's bright it's popping so look because my red down here is not as popping this side specifically that's kind of weird anywho guys so that is I just wanted to tell you that and what else um, so yeah everything's good I know I haven't been uploading videos I've been in the craft room though because um, I made made book covers I'll show you I'll show you my book covers oops um, and I have to varnish these I'm gonna varnish them and I have to sign them with the wood burner um, but let me go I'm just gonna go grab my book covers and I think I've shared these before and I could do a video but I'll be right back they're right in here my sewing machine is um, it's in the basement at the moment when James came home we uh, I had all my sewing stuff in James's room and so we had to move it out of there and so I haven't had access to it the way I did so this no sew style of uh, book cover has come in so handy I've made several of these for gifts um, I use the Aileen's fabric tape it's called fabric fusion and it, you just use that just like you would with paper and your ATG gun so I did two different ones this is my Al-Anon book and this is my Naranon book and um, so this is my notes because I've been taking notes because I Naranon is amazing so anyone who has the, the disease of addiction in their family specifically drugs go to Naranon you won't believe it like it's so much help there all right and don't wait you should go right away um but i've had this uh notebook it's this is just like a notebook cover that i made now this is sewn i probably did this i think i have a video for it um it was my my attempt at applique and you know you can see my stitching isn't all it's cracked up to be but I love it so much so this is what I've been taking my notes in so I just I happen to have another piece of this paper and I so I made a no sew book cover for my book and I just like making a little pocket on the front and this just has a tag in it but you could put your little your pen I'll put my little um, bookmark and then I just I just like to have a pen 
and a highlighter and then off you go so it's awesome and this was different I just decided to put a little trim on the pocket I don't know just this one I didn't you know this one you can kind of see but I made them so that you could fit like a three by five um, card in there just in case because people have passed me a note like um, not a note but like a note about the higher power someone gave me this um, and it, so you know you just have something will come to mind and you could pass it to someone so anywho um, thankful for that so that's where these little um, door knocker thingies came from I just was I'm so inspired and happy at the moment everyone's doing good um, including me but it really doesn't matter at what anyone else does it only matters what I do um, meaning you can't control anybody else but yourself you can only control yourself so um, that's what I'm trying to learn how to do but isn't this the cutest I think it is all right you guys that's it for today um, I am going to be back maybe I'll burn this you know what I'll come back and I'll do another video maybe I don't know all right thanks for watching